If you've noticed the leaves being eaten from your shrubs or trees, then you could be dealing with brown tail moths and their caterpillars. As caterpillars, they're voracious eaters that will defoliate broadleaf plants, eventually causing the plant to die in severe infestations. They also release hairs that can cause respiratory issues and skin irritations similar to poison ivy. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of brown tail moths and their caterpillars so your shrubs and trees can grow unharmed throughout the season. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about brown tail moths, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is to identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Brown tail moth caterpillars are small pests that grow up to 1.5 inches in length. They have hairy, dark brown bodies with a dashed white stripe on both sides of their bodies and two orange or red spots found towards their tail ends. The adult brown tail moths have a wingspan of about 1.5 inches, are white in color, and they have tufts of brown hair located at the ends of their abdomens, hence the name brown tail moth. Be aware that once you start to see the adult moths, any damage to your shrubs and trees would already have been done for the season. You'll still want to treat them, as they'll lay eggs on your property that will hatch into more caterpillars. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Brown tail moth caterpillars can be found on the leaves of broadleaf trees and shrubs from April to late June. The trees they typically target include oak, apple, cherry, hawthorn, blackthorn, and bramble trees. Adult moths will emerge in July and can be seen until August as they mate and lay eggs. During the winter, caterpillars will create tent-like webs wrapped around leaves and branches. You'll know these are brown tail moth caterpillars and not tent caterpillars since tent caterpillars are active during the spring. After identifying your pest and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. First, prune away any of the infested twigs, branches, and limbs you found during your inspection. This will help minimize the population, control nests and food sources, and stimulate the plant's growth. Avoid pruning too many branches, since that may cause your plant unnecessary stress. To get rid of brown tail moth caterpillars, you'll need to use an insecticide with long-term residual protection like Supreme IT. Supreme IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate made with 7.9% bifenthrin, so it will need to be mixed with water before application. We recommend you use 1 8 to 1 4 of a fluid ounce of product per 1 gallon of spray solution to apply over 1,000 square feet of treatment area. Since brown tail moth caterpillars are typically found in elevated spaces, we recommend you mix and apply this solution with a 20 gallon hose end sprayer. Once your solution is mixed, spray the leaves on all foliage and trees on your property. Be sure to spray underneath the leaves as well. To spray elevated areas, remove the spray tip to produce a long reaching stream. Do not apply this product to any plant grown for consumption. Supreme IT will work to kill pests it comes in contact with, and it will also leave a long-lasting residual that will continue to control the area for up to 90 days. To get rid of adult moths, you'll need to make a space spray application with a fogging insecticide like Flex 1010. Flex 1010 is an emulsifiable concentrate that contains 10% permethrin and 10% piperonyl butoxide, a synergist. We recommend you apply this product with a ULV fogger or a mosquito misting system with a 0.09% emulsion of this product to treat every 1,000 cubic feet of space. To achieve that concentration, you can mix 64 fluid ounces of product into 55 gallons of water. Once you've mixed your solution, apply the solution as a fog or mist in the desired treatment spaces. When applying to foliage, be sure to cover over and underneath the leaves. This application will treat flying pests that make contact with the mist. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. To prevent brown tail moth caterpillars from infesting your lawn, proper lawn maintenance will go a long way. Mow your grass to its proper height, regularly rake away leaf litter and debris, and properly water your lawn, shrubs, and trees. Regular maintenance will keep your yard clean and inhibit caterpillars from traveling. Finally, we recommend you make quarterly applications with Supreme IT to protect your foliage from caterpillars and other pests throughout the year. Treat present adult moths with Flex 1010 until the population is controlled. 
Brown tail moth caterpillars will not only defoliate your trees and shrubs, but they'll also spread their irritative hairs around your property. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop brown tail moths and their caterpillars from infesting your property, and we offer fast and free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.